Now we are going to discuss about VXML versus XML. VXML abbreviation is like a voice extensible markup language and X XML means you know right uh, extensible markup language. So uh, we are going to see what exactly VXML does and what is the purpose of VXML and what is the purpose of XML. This all we are going to see now. Uh, let's start first of all uh, the just oral uh, description if, if I give just a brief description means then VXML is used for developing a voice applications whereas XML is used to transfer data between applications and in VXML the tags are all the tags are predefined one uh, while in XML uh, a developer can specify their own tags uh, like user defined tags also available now see uh, the purpose of VXML if you see here uh, VXML is used to create voice user interface per, for uh, interactive voice response which means IVR systems and XML is used for storing and transporting data between different systems the main application of VXML is voice based applications we use uh, we develop by, by using VXML and IVR systems uh, by using XML uh, we can develop uh, web development and data exchange between applications and the structure of VXML will be like it defines voice user interface elements such as prompts, menus and input methods etc. There are a lot of things are there going forward we will see all the things and when it comes to XML it defines set of rules for encoding documents in a format that in uh, that is both human readable and machine readable uh, whereas data types uh, VXML is limited to voice related data types such as speech and DTMF input only and uh, when it comes to XML it can represent a wide range of data types such as text numeric uh, images other data types like wherever in all the databases you can take right uh, any kind of data types uh, like text numeric all so all it supports but in case of VXML you see speech and DTMF input it will support and the syntaxes if you see yeah, it uses XML syntax and it extends it with the additional elements and attributes specific to voice applications only here you just have to mainly concentrate on it has to uh, specific to voice applications only when it comes to XML it uses XML syntax with predefined elements and attributes that define the structure and the content of the document so it has user defined document I mean tags as well and when it comes to uh, VXML the accessibility if you see it is mainly designed to provide accessibility for visually impaired users and those with the disabilities and also when it comes to XML there is no specific accessibility features uh, wherever you want you can uh, but ca it can be used to create accessible documents with the appropriate markup and uh, if you see the examples uh, mainly uh, phone based banking application systems, automated customer service systems like you see ICIC, SBA, uh, there are a lot of phone bankings were there, right? So, those are the main examples we can say. And when it comes to XML, like RSS feed and configuration files, HTML documents in daily development, uh, wherever like Java or uh, uh, I mean .NET, wherever you are. Uh, doing the development right there XML uh, is the part of it so whereas uh, it comes to a voice XML it is specific to voice related applications only so I hope you understood well about uh, the voice XML and uh, XML differences and what is the abbreviation of it and what are the purpose of it what uh, the main application where we use and uh, the structure data type syntax accessibility examples all I think you gained uh, I hope if you understood well, please do like and subscribe to this video. Also, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.